Watch the nights of Fikate, all the light is that smothers the sun. I can tell by the moon you'll be joining me soon as a guest in my fortress of fun. And I can't wait to see you and once again free you, release from your humorous air. Someday I will replace that big frown on your face with a smile and a murderous glare. We are two of a kind, violent, unsound of mind. You're the yin to my yang, can't you see? And if I were to leave, you would crumble and grieve. Face it, bats, you'd be lost without me. You'd be lost, you'd be lost. Face it, bats, you'd be lost without me. I'm just trying to show you just how well I know you. I understand just how you feel. Through your reason, no way, cause you had one bad day and your mind let go of the wheel. Still we're fated to battle, you pout and I prattle, don't you ever tire of this game? But you'll not make it in, cause I'm your only friend, we are opposites, but we're the same. We are two of a kind, violent, unsound of mind, you're the yin to my yang, can't you see? And if I were to leave, you would crumble and grieve, face and bats, you'd be lost without me. You'd be lost, you'd be lost, face and bats, you'd be lost without me. Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm Chair League action. Tonight we're going to jump in with Offslot versus Murky Murk and the Funky Bunch. That's an interesting name. I'm also peeking really hard right now, aren't I? Sorry, team. Uh, they're getting into the band phases. Let me turn that down quite a bit. Holy crap, that is way better. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so they're getting into the band phases. Let's jump over that, shall we? Oh, right, right, F11. That's a thing. Uh, <laughs> forgot. It's been it's been a while, team. Uh, yeah, so, Offslot manages to ban out Lee Ming right away. Followed up by a Kael'thas band. Nobody wants to play against mages today. Probably smart. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's an interesting thing. Hey, Fonzie, what's up? Uh, I mean, you can sub too. I don't think I have it turned on, but you can do it. It's, you know, if you want to. I'm doing pretty well. I'm excited for this. I wasn't planning on casting tonight. And then a couple of teams said, hey, we want you to cast. Why not? Why not? So, first pickup for off slot is Zagara. Look, guys, I love Zagara. I think she's fantastic. I will play the crap out of her. She's my favorite. But I still don't think she's first pick material. I In Hero League, absolutely. In a game like this, not so much. Even on Tomb, where she is very good. I just... I would have preferred to see a Sylvanas pickup or a Thrall. Something along that nature. Now, granted, we are talking about... Chair League, this isn't pro scene, so if somebody can't play Zagara or Sylvanas on your team, then I understand. It is what it is. So, to counter that, we have a Thrall and a Tassadar pickup. The Tassadar pickup here bothers me. And bothers me in the what-are-they-doing type way. Because a Tassadar pickup this early screams Illidan. But a lot of teams will pick him up this early just to make you think that, and then they'll just go double support with Taronda. And move on with their lives. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they just want a big in-your-face team comp too. Because you can take Thrall, Tassadar, and Sonya. And just wreck the entire enemy team. And it's fantastic. So I, I can get behind that too. A false dead pickup on the side of Offslot. I'm not a fan of this anymore. 
like ever. I just Falstead, he he's not doing it. He's not doing it for me. Um, they they change the way he plays, change the way it works. My mic's deciding that it doesn't want to stay where I tell it to. You're too heavy for your stand, I know. Um, so false head pickup is is neither here nor there. Joanna pickup on this map though, I absolutely love. Joanna pickup says, "Hey, you know what we want? We want the spider butts. We're gonna get us some spider butts. Do you know who would be a good pick here? Nova." Uh, I did not know that, turns out. I don't think anyone ever knew that, ever. Because I don't think that's true. Um, <laughs> sorry. So, baiting up Morales. Interesting ban. We don't see it a lot in other situations. But we do see it a lot in lower tier levels. And the ban on Illidan by Offslot. Now again, this could be what Murky Merc wanted. That maybe they wanted them to ban out Illidan. You know, it was a it was a bluff, a fake out, if you will. So understandable there as well. I don't know. I think I bet Murky Merc has a backup plan, right? They they have to, right? Team, please have a backup plan, because it doesn't look. I uh I just I can't imagine. I'm not a fan of anything. Yeah, that's. I'm a fan of some things. I'm a fan of Zagara. I'm just not a fan of her first pick. See, okay, this is what I thought. Taronda and Vala picked up immediately afterwards. So they can go. They don't even have to go Muradin here if they don't want to. They can just take a Bruiser. They can take uh, preferably Sonya. But Artanis works too. Arthas works. Well, not anymore. Uh, any anything like that, they can take and still do fine. They'll probably end up taking Muradin since the other team is double warrior now. He's probably your best bet. Maybe the Haka that works fine too. Um, I mean, you you can beg to differ all you want, but you know, I'm just saying. I don't know. I like Nova. I like watching people play Nova well. I just don't think most teams can do that. That's the problem. Just kind of what it comes down to. Unfortunately, people people can't get that play style. They can't figure it out. And a Stitches pickup. All right. Going to rely on pulling somebody in, force walling them in, and then murdering them. That works really well against two of their heroes. Not so well against Rhaegar, Falstead, or Joanna. But it will definitely put Arthas and Zagara in a bind. So I like that. Uh, actually, yes. I have forgotten who killed by me is. Uh, I'll just go ahead and admit it. I don't remember you kicking my ass with Nova. But I'm sure you did it at some point. So. <laughs> is what it is. Anyway. Uh, we're going to jump into the game here. Everyone's already in the lobby. Um, Everyone's already in the lobby, so we should get going pretty quickly. We're just waiting on two, three players here. And then we're going to be good to go. I really hope I got the names correct when I just tested them. I need to turn that sound down too, huh? Loop. That was not enough. Go me. All right, that's better. Cool. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone is ready to go. We're getting into this game. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. Uh, it's It's been a long day, alright? I'm leaving for Burbank here in like 72 hours. Less than 72 hours. Or no, less than 48 hours. Son of a bitch. Uh, and I haven't packed yet. Now granted, that's not going to be too hard. Uh, just due to the nature of packing for me. But, I mean, I'm taking one bag. It's literally a backpack. My carry-on is the only thing I need. But I'm kind of scrambling to finish all the other stuff I need to do before then. Uh, do I remember you? Yes, I remember Fonzie. I remember casting your game. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, team. Wait. Guys, there's a pause feature. What? Wrong here. Oh, they took Lee Ming. It's supposed to be Vala. <laughs> Repeat first step. Okay, alright. Uh, 
It will equally mean on the on the field. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was him? Oh, shit. All right, yeah, I remember. Uh, so we're going to go back to me because they, they fucked it up. They fucked it up big time. Um, wow, that was that was good. You're, uh, you're super good at puns. What a dumbass. Anyway, um... Hold H and switch to Mercy. <laughs> God damn it. Come on, guys. Just jump out of the... I wish I could talk to them. Um, hmm. Uh, yes. Leave me did get banned. Alright, so this is what we're doing. I will just message Captain Canada. Cool. All right. <clears throat> so I've now told Captain Canada, yeah, we're going to remake. Because uh, team cheated. And by cheated, I mean probably just, just screw up. It is what it is. Uh, so I've messaged one of the captains. Let them know, hey, just get out of the game. Stay out for about a minute, and it'll end itself. And we'll move on from there. Yeah, so we, I figured this out. Um, if nobody is in the game for like 30 seconds or so, the game will end itself. But the moment somebody else goes, like as long as there's at least one person on each team, it will keep going. So both teams need to stay out. Um... Um, both teams need to stay out of the of the game, and then it'll fix itself. It'll shut the that game down, which is really nice. I accidentally figured that out. We were, we were testing Asmodunk stuff a while ago, and it it worked out pretty well. So can't really argue. But I, you know what, I can do. I can jump in as a as an observer and tell them when it's safe to enter the nexus again <sighs> all right everyone's leaving This is this is fun, huh, team? <laughs> okay, so blue team has won. Con congrats to off slot. You you win. You win the bot match. All right, cool. Uh, what what did I press? Go back to my stream. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Ah, fuck ads. The fact that you get ads on your own fucking stream is annoying. Anyone else? Anyone else annoyed by that? I am. Okay, well that was probably the most interesting start to an evening I've had. That is really gonna throw off my timing. <laughs> Who will? Hopefully it's a short game. Oh, okay, I guess the timing doesn't matter because I think my other game just got canceled. Cool. That's alright, I need to... <laughs> I, I have a lot of stuff I need to do anyway, so that works out.
let's get the other guys in here and then we'll try and start again. <laughs> Nothing happened. Well, <laughs> all right, cool. So, uh, we're we're getting there. I promise. Promise. Oh boy, that was that was interesting. Hey chat, you want to load sometime today? Today chat? No? Okay. What the hell? It's good when everything works the first try. There we go. Um What do you mean you can't hear me? Okay, we're almost all back in here. And, uh, nope, that guy's definitely not an observer. Put him back. Cool. All right, this time, hopefully, we can get started and play more than two seconds of it before we realize there's a problem. But, uh, in the meantime, I guess I'll tell you guys where you can find me. You can find me on Twitter at Captain Cardone. Um, also, if you're going to Burbank this weekend, let me know. I'll, we'll hang out, do something. I don't know. Um, but I'm planning on <laughs> I'm planning on going. Or I guess I am going. I'm flying out on Wednesday, Thursday. Fuck, fuck if I know. Holidays. Having Monday off has screwed up my week. Screwed it up fantastically. So, um, yep, I'll be going out to Burbank. So you won't see me on Next Verse this weekend because I'll be in California. And I can't really take the 45-pound lap or desktop with me to stream. So, kind of an issue. As you can hear, we are getting back into the game. <laughs> How do I get into the competitive casting scene, you know, for a friend? Uh, first thing I'd tell you to do is check out Chair League. If you're interested in cat in casting, definitely check out Chair League. After you have casted a couple of games and you're feeling good about it, email me, captaincardone at gmail.com. Send me an email and you know, send me a cast with it, and I'll be happy to look at what you got and see where you fit in with um, casting tournaments and stuff. So, you know, just be prepared for feedback. Be prepared uh, to not be comfortable with it the first time. And no matter what, go back and listen to your casts after you do them. Even if you have to go find a VOD or whatever, go do it. It's fantastic. But enough of me talking about casting. Here we go. On the left side, we have Offslot with Captain Canada playing Arthas, the Doctor... On Rhaegar, Billy Fish flying in with Falstad. Draw playing Johanna. Ghost Dunk on Zagara. I love Zagara. He needs a skin for it, though. Oh, the Doctor is in trouble. Crumbs getting a good route. But Captain Canada there to save the day. He is so polite. Uh, Bread playing Thrall. Crumbs on that stitches. M Mafiki playing Vala. Uh, the guy who hates Nicholas is... On uh, Toronto there, and up in the top lane, we have Blood Haze on Tass. Alright, so it looks like they're actually going for a rotation here. Uh, murky Merc. All over this rotation. Wow. There's a... Uh... Yeah. That's, chat is being rather interesting. Anyway, uh, stun going down on draw, uh, unstoppable popped in order to do some damage. I'm not sure she wants to stay in there. It still seems like a bad plan. Not a whole lot of health going on there. Um, let's take a look at talents real quick. Nothing really out of the, actually nothing out of the ordinary. Everything is absolutely normal with one exception. And that is bread took block instead of taking the lightning um, jumping to more people. That's it. 
Uh, yeah, you know, if you if you fit if your casting style fits mine, we can absolutely cast together. You just gotta put the work in. That's what it comes down to. Is make sure you're doing the work, and yeah, we'll find a place for you in the amateur scene. Can't guarantee any pro scene stuff because I can't guarantee myself any pro scene stuff. But J How made it. He's he's welcome, by the way. <laughs> Nah, he's a good caster on his own. I just helped him get onto more shows. Uh, yeah, so I don't like this. Captain Canada up here is not the best answer to a Tassadar. It just seems silly. Now, what this does do is let him get his trait built up, because he did take that quest talent at level 1. But not ideal versus um, Tassadar up there. Uh, that, yeah, okay, oh, I see what Thrall's doing. He's going an old school build. Okay, cool. There's nothing wrong with this build. I'm, I'm not partial to it. I like the lightning at level one better, especially on a map like this where you have turn-ins and stuff. You want that to bounce to more people. It helps. Pierce, uh, the or full out build coming out, rather, from Taronda. That's pretty standard. What's not standard is Vala's build here. It is all multi-shot, and that seems odd. Also, Stitches at level 7 almost never takes Amplified Healing. I get where he's coming from. He's going to get a lot more off of those sh shields with Kala's Embrace and Leeching Plasma. But it also kind of hurts because there's other talents there that are better than Amplified Healing. So I can understand. Yeah, just the auto attack build is so much stronger, especially against a team with two warriors. Double warrior with a Rhaegar. Rhaegar's not a low health hero either, so I feel like the auto attack build would have helped a lot more. Probably could have gotten a significant more, a, yeah, a significant amount of damage put out with the auto attack build. Web Weaver's finally coming out. We're four minutes in. Uh, usually in the amateur scene, we see these much earlier. But, you know, both teams doing a good job of keeping the other off the turn in point. Red Web Weaver's coming out. They kind of need it. The only lane they really have control over is the bottom one. And it's just, it's not going so well. If Bread could have hit that route, it would have gone much better. Could have put a kill down. But this middle one is just going to get destroyed before it ever even really gets to the walls. That is not ideal. And also, there's a chance that these two heroes could get destroyed too. Nope, they're good to go. Meanwhile, Top is going to get a little bit of damage done, but it's not really going to be enough. Not with Billyfish coming up to do even more. I just... Uh, Web Weavers were helpful. It's really only helpful bottom, though. That's the problem. Meanwhile, chat's still talking about things. Good job, chat. So glad you're here for the game, guys. Uh, is that what I think it is? It is? Wow, she's going a weird build. Um, so she took repeating arrow. But took two. I, I don't understand. This is an odd, it's just an odd build. Thrall going to the Wind Fury talent at level 7. It's pretty standard for the old style he's playing right now. Mule coming down. Wow, that is a talent we have not seen in a while. Mule is very much kind of a we're worried, concerned about things build. Or talent, rather. It just it doesn't happen that often. We almost never see it in pro scenes. Amateur scenes every now and then. They need to hit draw. Oh, that was close. Nick, you almost did not get that. Wow, that has to, that uh, hammering is doing tons of damage now. And blue web weavers draw able to get in there and secure the web weavers for his team. 
he's immediately going to take a whole bunch of damage for it, but, you know, web weavers they are. This is very good for Offslot. They have quite an advantage... Um, quite an advantage over Murky Merc right now. Um, yeah, I just... These web weavers are going to cause chaos to their buildings. They have a mule down, but the mule's going to die right here. There it goes. I just... They are going to fall way behind with this push. And all three lanes really pushing. Bottom lane got cleaned up fairly quick. Uh, wow, Toronto going down. Falstad must have really dove in there to get that kill. And this means this fort is pretty much forfeit. I mean, there's not a lot they can do. Crumbles, Crumbs, rather, trying to come in from behind, but just going to die, it looks like. Oh, yeah, he is absolutely dead. Bread not able to help his teammate out. No Sunder available yet. They're now a whole level behind. Mafiki needs to back off. Nope, if a slow comes out, he is dead. Might still be dead. There it is. Bread possibly also going down, but able to back away and survive. Needs to heal up. Probably going to tap. There it is. Nick, gonna try and finish this off, but not getting a whole lot done. Blood Haze could be in trouble as Falstead rotates up. I don't know if he has, there it is. So he did have his dimensional shift, no problems. Meanwhile, Offslot is just roaming around getting their camps, or all the camps rather, as many as they can. And I wanna take a look at these talents real quick, cause we have the level 10s. So one that I'm actually kind of surprised is Shadowstalk. I figured with double support, they would go uh, Starfall just to, for the added damage and whatnot. Gust is fine. Sindragosa is hit or miss. Tassadar died immediately. That was not even like a second of combat. He was just dead. Dang. Falstad has to have extra damage on that. It's not going to tell me there. Hey, Blizz, if you can add that. I, I don't know if you can or not. I have no idea how hard this is. But if you could add that, that would be great. Mafiki trying to get a kill. There it is. Waste the heroic, though. Reign of Vengeance comes down to nothing. And meanwhile, Blue Web Weavers are coming again. It's been, what, uh, two minutes, three minutes tops? And here they are. Yeah, weird they didn't go for Sylv. I absolutely agree. I expected to see a Sylvanas. I think if they had a Sylvanas instead of a Zagara, they would be much better off. Uh, not that they're bad off or anything. They are definitely winning this match so far. But they could get a lot more done. Bread up here could be in trouble. Nope, going to get out. He does have Sunder available. But with the build he's going, he doesn't have a whole lot of ability to heal himself. He's not getting that talent off, or the trait off as often. And... Honestly, Offslot is doing a great job of keeping him on his toes. Meanwhile, all the Web Weavers go down. And Offslot still has over half of what they need to turn in again. That's, that's going to be brutal. And honestly, we haven't seen Mule do that much. It's healing up this bottom fort now. And it'll be really useful when Towers in the back line and Keeps start taking damage. Nick is falling. Okay, cool. So, Inv is attempting to get in, but all it really does is put them in an awful position to get hit by a bunch of abilities. Fortunately, they live through it. The double support finally uh, paying off for them. Crumb's trying to get into the back line. He already popped his heroic. They, they need to focus, and they're just not. Force Wall going to end up letting them take down the Doctor. And Captain Canada coming back in. I don't think this is a good plan, man. I mean, I, I'm all for it. I'm an aggressive player, but I don't think you win this fight, especially with that force wall coming out. Blood Haze in trouble, but getting the shield on himself takes the maw, still dies for his actions, and they don't get crumbs or Blood Haze out of that. Man. Uh, also, somebody should be watching that because all she has to do is roach drop. I, she's not there, obviously, but they don't know that. Weird they didn't go Nova. Yeah, it is weird, huh? I mean, I hear she's number one player killer in the game. That's what I hear. Uh, 
I understand why they didn't go for Nova. A lot of people do not like Nova. Are not good at that play style. Just can't can't do it. But killed by me, I will say you uh, you definitely showed me that Nova can be used, at least in amateur scenes. I'm not sure how well she can be used in pro scenes still. Maybe one day we'll find out. Maybe this weekend we'll find out. Now that would be cool, wouldn't it? If some team showed up with a like super awesome Nova strat. Sindragosa coming out, but not really hitting anybody. The targeting wasn't that great. Uh, the heal coming out. Sunder hitting three or four. Able to let them back off, but they still lose stitches for it. Meanwhile, this Webweaver up top with the help of Blood Haze is just like, la 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 la. I'm going to push in. Uh, Blood Haze, you are in a bit of trouble, my friend. And you do not have any way of escaping now. You already used it. You are going down. What? I don't even know what talent that is. I've never. Distortion Beam? People still take that? Isn't Prescience at that level? I'm pretty sure Prescience is at 13. Which would explain why I had no idea why what what that ability was. Um, uh, needed a drop off the maw. Yes. Uh, typically, when you maw, you um, baneling, and then immediately after baneling, banelinging, you roach drop, so that they're taking the damage from the roach drop hit. The roaches are hitting them, and the banelings are hitting them. It does quite a bit of damage, especially on the back of a maw. Maw itself, not a whole lot of damage done. But, damn, we have another set of web weavers. I mean, there is a siege camp bottom that's going to help against these web weavers, but not if it gets cleaned up. And it looks like that is exactly what's going on. Because they have to take care of this boss. Mule going to fix this wall right back up, but it's not really enough. And without, um, without Kala's Embrace, these shields just aren't lasting. To be fair, if Nova was in this game, it would have been 12 kills on them early. Yeah, that's probably fair. That's that's a reasonable call. Meanwhile, Murky Merc, they're not that far behind in experience, but they are way behind the buildings, and they're just not getting the rotations that they need. They have a couple of really wonky builds coming out, too, that I think are hurting them. I mean, uh, when you have a task, you're expecting to have those shields. I don't know why he was shielding... That, that's probably a misclick. You probably tried to get the tower. But you're expecting to go into a fight with more health than you normally would have. And without Kala's Embrace, that doesn't happen. And apparently, I did not turn... Stop, Inverum, stop it. Thanks, buddy. Damn. Um, forgot to turn my phone on vibrate. My bad. Uh, Stitch is trying to slam those. You don't have enough damage there, buddy. Sorry, I know I know you want it. I know you want it bad, but you don't have enough damage. Honestly, I think Breed just needs to turn in while nobody is attacking them. Because they haven't won really a team fight yet. They've gotten a couple of kills, but not a lot of team fight wins. Okay, that was pretty good, but that was an excellent maw coming out. This could be trouble. Where's the roach drop? There it is. Mafiki going down. Feral lunge in the middle of them being blasted. Breed also gonna go down here. And apparently, Toronto going down. I missed that. Crumbs using the bile to try and escape. I just... Wow, that hurts. That hurts, Crumbs. What are you doing? They have a false dead, Crumbs. If Sindragosa was up, he would be one dead stitches. Dead again, stitches. Stitches is undead anyway. Man, I want to play Warcraft 3. Um, hmm. Yeah, so th this... Could be an early game here. I doubt they're going to go for it. I think they need to back off. Especially if somebody gets hooked. Nobody got hooked. Uh, yeah, they just need to back off. Kind of get some lap control. I expect them to take this camp and then the bottom camp. Boss should be back up. Oh, not even close. Huh. My timing off? Yeah, my timing's just way off. Alright, never mind. Scratch that. So, at one point, like, whole wheat bread. All right. 
Um, at some point, I need to get give Artemis mod privileges to my channel, just so she can start randomly timing you guys out for fun. Because I think it'd be hilarious with this group. That's it. That's all there is to it. Anyway, back to the game. Uh, yeah, so there's still a lot of coins on the side of Offslot, and they are doing a fantastic job of rotating where they need to be and doing what they need to be doing. Uh, yeah, did that actually hit him? It did. It absolutely hit Billyfish. That's fantastic. I love seeing owls like that. Toronto players that can hit those owls just randomly are always enjoyable to watch. They should, they should just take this tower. They can see them. Just take the take the wall. All right, never mind. Not taking the wall. Good Al hitting two, stopping them. More importantly, from turning in, a root coming in from Captain Canada. That was excellent. Kind of needed it here. Oh, crumbs could be in trouble. Sindragosa coming out right after the invis. That's gonna hurt. Not really getting anything off of that. The bit of a heal. Sunder coming out, but only hitting one. Reign of Vengeance, once, not enough. Not enough, because Hate is about to go down. This is a weird fight. Nobody's really focus firing. All they have to do is focus on somebody, and they got it. And there it is. Vala is going down. That's going to spell the end, because Crumbs is about to go down as well. Especially with that root. Draw will be able to pull him right back in. Force Wall. That was a great Force Wall on Blood Haze's part to stop them from getting Crumbs. Now, can this four-man defend this? I think so. And it looks like Offslot is very hesitant to get in there and deal damage. I think they need to do some damage to this keep up here. Man, he just keeps pulling Joanna. If it was anyone else, this would work to his advantage so well. They do manage to get the Ancestral popped, though. So that is going to help them out in the long run. They just... They're, they're behind. No buildings down. They need to deal some damage. At least take one of these down. If they can get a kill and and take down a building and get boss at the same time, they should be good to go. But that is a lot of work right there. They're just going for boss. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, they're just going to try and take boss. Uh, this is scary. Luckily, it's not creeped up, so that's not really a problem. Blue Web Weavers are coming. They know they're there now. Oh, no. This is going to turn against them real fast. They have to do it right now if they don't... Nope. Excellent Force Wall to keep them off the point, but is it going to be enough? Sunder coming out, followed by Reign of Vengeance. Kind of put them out of position. They almost have the Doctor, but not enough. He's going to be able to stay in the back line and keep healing. Meanwhile, Maw coming down, dealing damage. Mafiki taking too much damage. Roots coming out. Uh, Toronto goes down. Bread's about to go down. Mafiki super low. Blood Haze most likely going down as well. Crumbs does get the boss off of that. But he's the only one left. It doesn't matter. They can just go win. I expect them to just go core. The boss will die. That's not a concern at all. The boss will end up dying to these buildings. Uh, it'll probably get the wall back here. But that's about it. They can just push for a win. They have Web Weavers pushing on every lane. They're, the lowest person is still down for 22 seconds. So this is absolutely game for Offslot. They are going to take this week's game against Murky Merc and the Funk Funk Crew? Funky Squad? You guys' name is too long. Thanks thanks for playing, but your name is too long. <laughs> it makes it really hard to remember. Congratulations to Offslot for taking this, this week's Chair League game. Uh... Great. That was great all, all the way around. Um, they have a lot of stuff they can work on, of course, but everybody does. So it was awesome to see them come in here and play a very solid game. I expect to see them move up a division, most likely. They've consistently been doing well this season. So probably, um, probably going to see them move up uh, a, a, a rank, a division. That's what they are, a division. But thank you guys very much for coming out and hanging out with me this evening. It is 9.40. I may not have another game just due to um, people not showing up. Sounds like one team isn't going to be able to field a whole team. So we're just going to take a break, and we may be back in like 10 minutes with another game. So uh, keep your eyes on... 
your email, make sure to follow it so you get an email about it. And you can also follow me on Twitter. I'll throw something up on there about it if I have another game tonight. Thank you guys very much for coming out and hanging out with me. And make sure you go check out Sweet Synergy Challenge. They are doing a tournament right now. I think they're in the finals. I can check this. They are in the finals. It's Team Blaze versus FSU Crab Legs on Towers of Doom. So go check that out as well. And uh, thanks, man. Thanks, Killed by Me. Appreciate that. It's always it's always fun to have you guys in chat because you're always making goofs of yourselves. That's uh, it's a good thing. So I will see you all hopefully in like 20 minutes. But, ouch. If not, I this is not going well, apparently. If not, I will see some of you in Burbank. Or I'll see you next week when I start streaming again. So thanks very much for coming out. And we'll see you all next week. Take care. Or glory, just his cape and his cave and his. Meow. <laughs>